Hey guys, first sorry about the sound of the 3D printer or the cat. <laughs> Life goes on, I guess. Christmas came a little late for me because of family uh, conflict and stuff. I'm just now opening my Christmas present and uh, there's a couple of interesting things in here. This first box actually is not Christmas. I ordered this uh, a couple days ago, but since we're opening stuff, let's open this one too. It is the CRC Dry Molly Lube. It's like, why did I order this? <laughs> According to the people on the internet, this stuff allows you to engrave on metal, which normally is not possible with my cheap laser. So I'll give that a try. <sighs> Sorry guys, the camera died while I was opening this one. So you guys are catching this in the stream. But uh, what's in this bag is one of those Arduino kits. I don't even... I think I could put it back in this box again. There's so much stuff in here. But yeah, these are great because I think it's like $25 or so. You get everything you need to get started with the Arduino. I've had one before and I like it. Uh, I got it off Amazon, but this one is from AliExpress. Probably be cheaper. Rain sensor. My previous one did only come with a stepper, but no uh, servo. So this one comes with a servo and a stepper. So I thought that was pretty cool what's in here oh yeah it, it's another thing that normally doesn't come with well it didn't come with my previous one this one comes with an RTC real-time clock so if you make a clock it actually will retain its time with a battery oh here's the actual Arduino it's just a Nuno clone pretty well built sometimes they're all bent up but this looks like it's pretty well built soldering job is decent See what else we got. I don't know what this is. <laughs> what is this, guys? Power LED ground SDA. I wonder if this is a driver for the display, a driver for this display or something. Yeah, that look like it matches. So this is a two-line LCD. I think it's 40 character. And then uh, normally it takes a lot of pins, but this allows you to drive it with I square C or something. Kind of cool. Oh, it comes with a, an RFID reader. So if you want to make some social security device. I mean, look at all this stuff. Oh, look at the tiny little keypad. So you can make a little calculator or something. Oh, something bent up. Or maybe it's supposed to be that way. I'm not sure. So uh, a microphone sensor. That's another thing that didn't come with my previous kit. This, this is a better kit than the one I got before from Amazon. Love these, of course. Four characters, seven segment display, single seven segment display. This is probably a shift register. Yep, five and five shift register. A uh, hopefully a dual color eight by eight. Or maybe it's a single color, I'm not sure. It just kept on going, guys. Oh, temperature and humidity sensor. Bazillion resistors and oh, there's a potentiometer. That would be kind of fun to uh, adjust stuff. Push buttons and look like a couple piezo speakers. Gaps of LEDs of multicolor. Oh, these are cool. Dave Watts play, play with some of those for his dice uh, game. So, oh, that's an IR LED. Where's that thing? Yeah, these little things here. I think that they sense motion. Oh, maybe this is not. This is like a, uh, it has a ball in it. The one that Dave uh, Watts was using, it has like a little spring, but this doesn't vibrate much either, but it has to vibrate that way. So it's like a, maybe it's a tilt switch, but we'll play with that later. But wait, there's more. <laughs> oh, joystick, of course. Analog joystick. With a push? Yep, with a push button. So, that's a one, one set of analog, that's another set of analog, and then a push button. I mean, just imagine all the things you can build with so much stuff. A uh, relay, so you can switch something of higher voltage than a 5 volt Arduino. Make sure I don't throw anything away. <laughs> oh, almost throw that away. Oh, comes with a remote for the infrared here, so you can create something remotely control it using uh, infrared 
This looks like the driver for the stepper motor. Yeah, where is that uh, stepper motor? Yep, looks right here. And that goes to the other unit to drive it. What is this? So tiny. <laughs> they bothered to put this in a little plastic that's probably not even anti-static bag. It looks just like a single LED with a lot of resistors. What is, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's an RGB LED. <laughs> it's a single RGB LED. Interesting. It's not very many jumper wires. This by not enough to uh, make all the project. So if you get this, you might want to get extra jumper wires. Yeah, I don't like these. Uh, what is this? DuPont wires? I prefer the flexible ones like this. They're much easier to work with. Okay, I think that's everything guys. Tons and tons of stuff. I'll, I'll link it in the description if you get more when I get one of these. And we'll build something together. I don't think I could put it back together. <laughs> so much stuff in here. But we got more stuff to open. Runaway parts. Okay. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. This was fun to open when my wife gave me just a single box for Christmas. And then I open it up. You ready? <laughs> it's just like tons and tons of parts in here. And so let's open them up. Let's see what this is. I have no idea. <laughs> really? <laughs> what is this? I think they're LEDs. But so tiny. I don't know what kind of LEDs these are, but I think that's what they are. Tiny, tiny LEDs. And I have no idea why I bought them. <laughs> Probably because it's cheap. <laughs> Another one. Ooh, bigger LEDs. I bet you I get to these from the same fender. I don't remember why I bought these. I think I just, they were just, oh, I wonder these are, these are like on a uh, Cyber Monday or something. That I just like, they're like so cheap that I have to get them. These are interesting LEDs. I don't even see the leg. Let's see if we could find the leg. Oh, look at that. It has like a leg in the, it has a leg in the middle. Isn't that weird? It's like there's one left, one right, and one in the middle. Hopefully I can find the listing because I have no idea what kind of LEDs that those are. Oh, there's more. No, these are more look at the kinds of LEDs that I'm familiar with. But they are so tiny. I wonder if I, that's why they're so cheap because they're not the regular size. These are like super tiny LEDs. Okay, this video is going to take two hours because I can't open packages. <laughs> I have to cut it. Don't have the patience to excite it. I wonder if these are even RGB LEDs. It's so tiny. What are these? Oh, look at that! So adorable. You know, normally you get those uh, 8x8 display and you have to have to a driver and all, all that stuff. But this guy comes with the chip right behind it. And so it's right there. Back and forth. That's too bad that these are protruding so you can't like put them side by side. Look like I only got one anyway though, so <laughs> I guess that will be, have to do. Matrix. They even misspell matrix. <laughs> oh well. What did I order? Oh, <laughs> these are snips. These are pretty amazing. I've ordered these before and they are so sharp. They allow you to make cuts that are very, very close to the surface. As you can see, they're 
flat here so when you're cutting like the wire on the PCB and stuff you can really cut them very very close to the PCB these are amazing and they're very sharp even over here so don't poke yourself they're great for even 3d printing stuff oh this one is a little open already ah <laughs> That kit didn't come with very many uh, jumper wires, so I bought some. This should be last for some time. <sighs> I don't know how many I ordered, but there's a lot of jumper wires here. You can't see me, but I'm smiling this whole time. <laughs> oh, more Wemos. Oh, these are uh, another OLED. These are a little bit bigger than the previous one we saw. I know you're supposed to open there. Yep. Oh wait, they're the same. No, they're not the same. Oh, these are not Wemos ones. These are our regular OLED, but this look like almost the same kind of OLED. This is a little bit bigger. But this is not as big as the previous one I have. interesting close but i think this old one is a little bigger still maybe just a little bit i love these oled displays okay a couple more guys hang on what is this oh this is the wemos ah good yeah so this and these two goes together they plug in like that stack him oh he comes with a header even nice so this allows you to stack them multiple height i hope uh, the last one i open is uh, kind of exciting because oh can never have too many arduinos these are nanos my favorite oh they're black for some reason i wonder if that matters black versus normally they're blue but I got two more Arduino Nanos. This one feels like there's nothing in it. It's just one tiny little board. What is it? DTRRX. This looks like a serial. Oh yeah, it is just a, an FTDI uh, USB to serial. It's pretty tiny normally they're kind of like longer this long but so yeah usb micro coming in that's the serial coming out in and out i guess it's two-way and this feels like a pcb of some sort oh no they're breadboards yep two more breadboards and there's my christmas presents <laughs> i'll be building this uh, in the next episodes guys so check out the channel subscribe whatever if you are interested in what i'm going to be building with all this stuff and if you do have ideas of something to build let me know in the comments i'll talk to you guys later bye